Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has three scriptures. The first is Jeremiah chapter 51 verses 10 through 14 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields, the Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon, to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon, make the watch strong, set up the the watchmen prepare the ambushes for the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come and the measure of thy covetousness. The Lord of hosts hath sworn by himself saying, surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. The next scripture is Zechariah chapter 7, verses 9 through 14 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment and shew mercy and compassions every man to his brother and oppress not the widow nor the fatherless the stranger nor the poor and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear yea they made their hearts as an adamant stone lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts hath sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it is come to pass that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all nations whom they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them, that no man passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. The last scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verses 11 through 18 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed." And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Now for the message received from the Lord God. 
on March the 16th, 2022. Alerts, alerts, alerts all around. There won't be a place on the planet unaffected by these emergency messages. Take cover, flee for your safety, run and hide from these threats to humanity. Something is not quite right. The ground is shaking sometimes violently. Structures are falling and emergency lights are flashing. Fires, fires, fires are everywhere. Beware, please be safe. The obstacles are everywhere. Where can we go for it is not familiar? Like a war zone. America. The great is falling into the sea. The earthquakes are everywhere in places they never were before in times past. Is this the end? Our country, our great country is falling apart. Here come the tsunamis. Where do I start? People are fleeing to higher ground. But where should they go and how will they get there? There are huge crevices in the earth through major highways. The earth is so unstable. There could be many aftershocks. Oh my God, here come the rockets, the missiles. We're being attacked, exclamation point. Our adversaries know we're weak and they're taking great pleasure in it. They know our future looks bleak. Where is the president? Does anyone know what's happened to him? Is he hidden somewhere or did someone just off him? Is he dead or alive? How will we survive? The patriots of America who normally thrive and survive through harm's way. Can anyone revive you now? The enemy is inside your borders. They were given the orders to shoot and ask questions later. These foreigners, they don't even speak English. How will we be able to even communicate with them? The Russians, the Chinese, they are coming up out of the oceans and onto the shores. Do I need to say any more? America, the Great is no longer a land of 50 states. It has been seized by foreign invaders. They are sick of you telling them what to do. Now it's their turn to turn the tables on you, exclamation point. Don't you see, America? You are no longer a country. Tyranny has swept through your land by the way of both coasts, the east and the west. It's a horrific scene. Looks like something out of a documentary magazine or war movie, exclamation point. How can this be happening to America? Exclamation point. She has stood the test of time. So brave and so proud. She stood for liberty and rights and freedom. That's over now, for you are at the mercy of these marauders. Exclamation point. They want all of your treasures. <laughs> they are tired of your arrogance. Now it's their time for revenge on the once great democracy whom everyone thought they could depend on, but now has been captured by dictators, authoritarian rulers. They've combined forces to defeat you. This is how badly they wanted to defeat you, exclamation point. This is who came to greet the day after the calamities fell. Everything has gone to hell. War on your shores, America, for the first time in modern history, exclamation point. How can this be? Who dropped the ball? Why weren't we protected? Too many greedy and corrupt politicians, not enough analytical military strategists. They should have been looking for this, or maybe it went unnoticed due to new technologies preventing undersea vision of these submarines. What should we do? Where can we go? How will we live? It's a military state now. It's done. It's happened so quickly, the takeover. Our citizens could, couldn't ever muster enough courage to attempt to fight them, unlike the Ukrainians. But in this case, the earth is shifted and there's flooding everywhere, so it's hardly fair to compare the two of them. 
So sad. Democracy has ended. Now they will usher in the new world system. Everyone must comply, for you will be monitored in more ways than one. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Come save us, Lord Jesus. Take us away now. Catch us up with you. Come back to get us, please! Exclamation point. You have come and gone. We've been left behind! Exclamation point. Help us, please, Lord Jesus. We believe in you now. Come get us, for we will stay true to you. No more idol worship. Take us to heaven. This earth is smoldering. We are starving, and they won't let us buy or sell unless we take the chip in our hands or foreheads. I know not to do it, not to do it in all capital letters, exclamation point. Lord, help us get through this, exclamation point. We will never deny you or be lukewarm again. Save us, please, Lord Jesus, exclamation point. The Holy Spirit of God. So... An incredible message that I received last night, and I waited for three confirmations. And please don't ever take my word that these words are from the Lord. Take it to the Lord yourself and ask for discernment. Ask for signs as in, as in visions and dreams perhaps numbers you can look up in Strong's Concordance online. Never look at the angel numbers. Those are not of God. So, where do I begin? This message is from the perspective of those who are left behind after we are invaded by the Russians and Ch Chinese. And at the beginning, it talks about alerts all around, and something's not quite right in the ground, shaking something violently. Some structures are falling. Emergency lights are flashing. Fires everywhere. Everywhere, excuse me. Beware, please be safe. The obstacles are everywhere. Where can we go? For it is not familiar. Like a war zone. America the Great is falling into the sea. The earthquakes are everywhere in places they never were before in times past. Is this the end? It says people are fleeing to higher ground, but where should they go and how will they get there? There are huge crevices in the earth through major highways. The earth is so unstable, there could be many aftershocks. Oh my God, here come the rockets and the missiles were being attacked. The adversaries. And it, then it asks, where's the president? President. Does anyone know what's happened to him? Is he hidden or did someone just off him? So something's going to happen to the president. The enemy is inside your borders. They were given orders to shoot and ask questions later. Russians and Chinese are coming up out of the oceans onto the shores. Do I need to say any more? Okay. It says here, they are sick of telling you of you telling them what to do. Now it's their turn to turn the tables on you. And it says here, tyranny has swept through your land by the way of both coasts, the east and the west. And it's a horrific scene. Looks like something out of a documentary magazine or war movie. It says here, America, how can this happen? be happening to America? She has stood the test of time, so brave and so proud. She stood for liberty, rights, and freedom. That's over now, for you are the mercy at the mercy of these marauders. They want all of your treasures. They're tired of your arrogance. They've combined forces to, to defeat you. This is how badly they wanted to defeat you. This is who came to greet the day after the calamities fell. And it's asking the question, how can this be? Who dropped the ball? Why weren't we protected? Too many greedy and corrupt politicians. Not enough analytical military strategists. 
they should have been looking for this or maybe it went unnoticed due to the new technologies preventing undersea vision of these submarines. And then it goes into what happens after the in the aftermath of the invasion. It says here it's a military state now. Our citizens could never muster enough courage to attempt to fight them, unlike Ukrainians. But in this case, um, there's flooding everywhere, so it's hard or even fair to compare the two of them. So sad that democracy has ended. Now they will usher in the new world system. Everyone must comply, for you will be monitored in more ways than one. And then it's playing with Jesus to come back, and it sounds here like... The lukewarm and loss will be left behind. So I believe what's going to happen is that as the bombs fall, we go up. But those of us who believe on Jesus wholeheartedly and have repented daily and have a personal relationship with him and have asked for forgiveness daily will go up. And the, but then there will be many who are left behind. And this is what they're asking. Come save us, Lord Jesus. Take us away now. Catch us up with you. Come back to get us, please. So um, some will be taken. Others will be left behind. But a lot of people don't realize the times in which we were living, which are the end times. But it's going to all change once we're invaded by the Russians and the Chinese. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description box. I watched a very good video, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's by the Canadian Prepper. And I got many confirmations in this video for this message. So I think it's a good idea for you to take a look at it. And the good part starts at around the 21 minute mark into the video if you want to fast forward it. It's about how it says here in his video, there's an expert on nuclear war and all about the nuclear battles between, um, you know, with the stockpile weapons between us and Russia, what they have, what we have. I watched it this morning and it talks about they could make the unnatural the natural. So... They could make an unnatural disaster, make it look like a natural disaster by shooting off uh, a nuclear weapon, perhaps under the sea, which is pretty much what this message is saying with the nuclear submarines that are going undetected. And I don't know if they have that technology, but if, you know, if it's true, you know, through this word, which I believe it is. And they do have this technology. If you watch that video, you'll get to see and compare and contrast the type of weaponry we have in comparison to what Russia has. And it sounds like Russia has a lot more deadly nuclear weapons and it's a lot more easier to deploy. Please don't ask me because I am not a military strategist and I have no expertise in this area. That's why I'm going to leave the link in the description box to the Canadian Preppers video. Remember the 21 minute mark, start watching there, or you can watch the whole thing. It's not that long. I think it's about a half an hour. So this is the message for today. I'm gonna try and keep this short. If you enjoyed the message, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely share it to all of your social media platforms. If you enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love love to have you as a new subscriber. I do pray for all of my subscribers and viewers for Jesus' blood protection over your life from any harm from the enemy daily, usually two or three times a day. If you have any specific prayer requests or questions, please send them off to my email address, which is listed down below in the description box. Please heed the warning. A lot of you are still asleep. You think we're going to go back to normal. Don't you see what's going on? I mean, we are at the precipice of nuclear war. Just turn on CNN, watch it for watch it for a little bit one day just to just to see what's going on, guys. Please. You don't want to be left behind. 
and, and be stuck here during this and then be in this type of a situation. And I could just feel the panic when I received this message, the panic that I felt in those pleas for the Lord to come back. You don't even know. Okay, I want to thank you for listening and may God bless you.